In Mars' vacuum-like environment, if a large rip occurs, the air inside could be sucked out so violently, the astronauts' lungs would burst like exploding balloons. The lab that we have here is definitely a torture chamber to find the limits of those materials and, and spacesuit assemblies. So there is a product called Superfabric. Superfabric utilizes epoxy-based materials that are like little armor plating to allow the material to be uh, locally flexible, but in, in this case, globally stiff and protective. Okay, and I have a pretty heavy grit sandpaper in here, so let's just see what happens. Superfabric is 14 times more cut resistant than medium weight leather, making it one of the toughest flexible materials in the world. Resilient enough for Mars, but design engineer Keith Splond wonders if the thin superfabric gloves are warm enough. His fingertips get cold easily. The lowest temperature ever recorded on Earth is minus 87 degrees Celsius. On Mars, that kind of cold is considered normal. So, just handling a rock or a metal tool could cause severe frostbite. Keith himself will be testing his new design firsthand by grabbing an aluminum bar frozen down to minus 150 degrees Celsius. To pass the tests, the new gloves will have to protect Keith's hand from the intense cold for at least 30 seconds. Yeah, the suit fit is perfect today. Touching this aluminum bar barehanded would cause as much skin damage as plunging your hand into boiling water. Temperatures are still in range. Yep. Do you have any discomfort, Keith? Everything feeling okay in your hand? No discomfort right now. All right. Temperatures are looking good. Bar temperature is currently negative 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Are you okay? Feeling good. Uh, are your fingertips are looking okay? You have one going a little low, roughly 56 degrees. There you Fahrenheit. go, 50. 50 degrees. Remove hand. Okay. Very good, Keith. Good test. The test proves that the thin superfabric gloves are as warm as the old bulkier designs. How are you doing?